Hello and welcome to ATC 2016 Mobile App. Um, thanks to our sponsors, Allegis Global Solutions, for uh, sponsoring the app this year. Uh, we really appreciate it. So um, I want to take you through uh, just some key components of the mobile app in the next few minutes. Um, this year we've kind of simplified it um, based on feedback that we've um, had from the last couple of um, years that we've had the app. Um, so I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a tour now. So first of all, a um, couple of key things. We really encourage you to uh, download the app prior to the event. It takes a, a few minutes to download it. Go to the, the um, Apple Store or Google Play Store and search for ATC event um, and download the app. It is available now to download and it's free, so free is good. So um, when you do download it, we, um, we encourage you to, to log in. You can see in the top left-hand corner of the app, um, I'm actually sharing it from my, uh, my um, iPad. So you can see my name there, um, the little wheel to the right-hand side of my name. If you click on that, it'll actually allow to, um, to log in. We, uh, the reason why you should log in is one, um, it'll actually give you access to um, key components within the system, namely the attendees and the slides. So connecting to the attendees will allow you to actually communicate with the attendees um, pre, during and post the event. And what I mean by connecting, you'll be able to send them connect request messages. Um, if there's someone at the event you may want to catch up with, um, then you can actually do that via the messaging. And also the, um, the slides from the various presentations will be available for viewing and downloading um, from the app during the event and post the event you need to actually be logged in to get these. So how do you log in? Well, you need to provide your name, your first name, your last name, and your email address, plus the 10-digit code that you would have received as part of your registration on your email. Or if you um, have your name badge, if you're at the event now when you're looking at this or thinking about this, um, you'll see the 10-digit code on your, um, on your name badge. If you type that in, it's not case sensitive, that will actually give you access to, to logging in. So once you're logged in, you can then go and um, update your profile, connect it to your LinkedIn or your Twitter, or pull all your contact information through and your photo and so on and so forth. So then you're, you're fully integrated with, um, uh, with the social part of, of, of the app. If you have any problems, if you're not sure what to do, come and um, seek one of the ATC um, guys out at the event or drop us an email or call us if you're trying to download it prior to the event. Um, and we will help you out. So let's go into uh, the other two components. You can see my items and event guide. Let's go into the event guide first. And in the event guide, you can see all the various details such as um, agenda items, speakers, attendees, sponsors, exhibitors, and so on and so forth. So if I go into um, agenda, you can see the agenda is broken down by day, track, speaker, anything that you bookmarked, and there's actually a PDF version of the agenda you can, you can download. Let's have a look at by day, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. If I go into the Wednesday, there you can see all the various um, sessions and times um, and who's actually delivering those sessions and what the topic names are. So if I have a look at um, one of the sessions here, so let's just scroll down and let's have a look at, at Ambrosie's um, keynote session here on the Wednesday. So I can see lots of information about Ambrosie. I can see what the title of the session is. I can see the time and the day when it's on. And I have a whole lot of other information that I can capture as part of that, um, part of that um, keynote session. So I can put notes. So rather than writing on a bit of paper, I can actually type notes into the, into the app. Um, in the notes field, if I just click on notes, you can see there that allows me to um, type in a whole lot of notes, um, which I've kind of got forever. They're in the cloud, they're connected to the app. I can put in a reminder so I can go through the various sessions and add reminders into my calendar to prompt me a few minutes before that session's on, or I can attach them um, into my schedule. I can bookmark them and I can also take photos. The, um, the app is connected to your phone in your, in your, on your device. So if you take a, a photo by hitting the photo button here, it will actually send the photo out and link it to um, the actual session and push it out on, on the various social, um, Twitter, Instagram, and put the hashtag automatically of ATC2016. So you guys don't really have to do anything other than just take the photo and send it out. You can see a description of of Ambrosie's session and also um, her bio. So if I click on her bio, it will actually take me to her, her bio. And any other related sessions that Ambrosie is part of, you can, you can see there, um, and I can click into those. So um, that's kind of the, uh, the, the agenda side of it. If I go into a speaker, so once again, speaker by name or any speakers that you may have bookmarked, uh, if I have a look at Amanda, so there I can see Amanda's bio, and I can click into uh, Amanda's session, um, and I can see, once again, similar to what you saw with 
Rosie. I've also got some social connections, so I can see Amanda's linked in there, so I could click on that link and that could take me into, uh, into her session as or her LinkedIn profile as well. So attendees, as I said, this is secure. I've actually logged in. You can tell you're logged in because you can see my name in the top right-hand corner, uh, left-hand corner, sorry. If you um, are not logged in, obviously your name doesn't appear there. So um, all the people that are um, currently attending the, the ATC, um, as I said, because I'm logged in, I can actually see them. Um, there may be someone there or a few people there that you want to um, connect with. I look, I want to um, connect with Chris, so I can go into Chris's details, and there you can see Chris is actually private at the moment because he hasn't actually logged in. But I can actually send Chris a message by um, clicking on the little message icon there, um, and that will give me the ability to uh, to type a message out to Chris. So when he does log in, um, he'll see that message. Um, also, I can add Chris into my my contacts um, if I wanted to uh, within the app. If he's loads up all his contact information, like his phone number and his email address, I can really quick, um, um, capture that into the contacts part of my app, not the contacts part of your phone. So um, once again, really encourage you guys to, to log in so you can get access to that secure information about attendees. The sponsors and exhibitors, these guys are really important for an event. Without these guys, it's not possible to put on such an event. So we're very thankful um, for our sponsors and exhibitors. So we really encourage you guys to go and um, have a talk to these people and, and um, see what they have to offer. Um, they're all very friendly. So Allegis, our major sponsor. So once again, there's a whole lot of information about Allegis that we can um, share via the app and, and you guys can connect with and have some, some conversations uh, with those people. Um, our exhibitors, so once again, a really great list of exhibitors this year. We uh, have a look at some of these exhibitors, similar sort of information that you saw with the the sponsors, um, you can go in and, and look at their details, their websites and their contacts and so on and so forth. So one of the other key things uh, within the app is the, the view slides. So I actually said to you before that you need to log in. So if you wanted to actually download the slides, then you really need to um, be logged in to the app. And we can actually download the slides um, once they're being made available. They will be made available during the event and also um, post the event where you can download it. Also, uh, probably the other thing that, that I want to share with you guys is the ATC Hub. Uh, the ATC Hub is the go-to place for everything Australia, uh, talent and HR in, in Australasia. Um, this is a site that we're really proud of. There's some great information there. So really encourage um, everyone to, to go and have a look at the ATC Hub site and um, you know um, share the information. If you want to contribute, then we're always happy for uh, people, if you want to write some blogs, we're always happy for people to uh, to write relevant blogs. The the other component of the app is the My Item. So this is where basically everything that you do within the app is stored. So as you as you saw before, if um, if you take notes, um, this is the notes area. Um, notes will appear on the app. Um, your contacts, if you add contacts, if you get messages from other people um, within the app, you know, wanting to catch up or event messages from um, the ATC anything you want to put in your schedule. And the other thing is the activity feed. So this is like our social wall. This was really successful last year. Um, the social wall is connected to um, the ATC Twitter feed and Instagram feed. So anything that you guys post out um, within the app will get shared here. Anything that gets put out on the, those social channels using the ATC 2016 hashtag will get, will get shared here. So just a, a really good um, way of kind of, I suppose, having some interaction and, and um, and letting you guys, you know, know what's what's happening. So, um, in a nutshell, um, that's really the um, the mobile app for 2016. We really encourage you to join, um, to to download it and and play with it and and enjoy it. So, once again, um, thanks for your time, and uh, we look forward to um, to your feedback and uh, with the app. Talk to you soon.